Members of the Illinois House of Representatives all took their oath of office today. A familiar face will lead as speaker, but there are some changes in leadership on the Republican side. Our state capitol reporter Theodora Kulavaris is live in our capitol newsroom. Now, Theodora, this change in leadership doesn't change who controls the chamber. That's right, Jennifer. Even though Democrats will continue to re remain in control of the House and Republicans will continue to stay in the minority, but both leaders have said that won't stop them from working together. Congratulations, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Representative Chris Welch will once again lead the House of Representatives in the new session of the General Assembly. And this time he's leading an even bigger group of Democrats. They grew their supermajority from 73 to 78 members. The great 78 for trusting me for a second time to lead our chamber as Speaker of the House. Republicans expected to see major victories in the 2022 midterm elections, but did not. And after those losses, they saw a shakeup in leadership. Representative Tony McCombie will serve as the new House Minority Leader. She's the first woman to ever lead a caucus in the House. We must prioritize the co-equal nature of our government and prioritize fulfilling the constitutional, the constitutional duty, one which supersedes party loyalty or providing those checks and balances. Former Minority Leader Representative Jim Durkin resigned from leadership and later from the House before the start of the new session. Even through all the debates, I never questioned what was in his heart. I am sincerely grateful for his service to this state. Nonetheless, Welch believes Democrats and Republicans can work cohesively to get things done. And while we will certainly have more disagreements, it is my hope that even our disagreements can be productive when we remember that the reasons why we're doing the work are very similar. McCombe also called for both sides to move forward together. The only way to do that successfully, Speaker Welch, is to join me to be accessible, transparent, and honest to bring our caucuses together to frame real solutions. The House will also now have its first two Muslim American representatives, with representatives of Abdel Nasser Rashid and Nabila Syed. Reporting live in Springfield, I'm Theodora Kulavaris, WCIA3, your local news leader. Theodora, thank you.